you, Doe. Whoa. <laughs> That's all I can say is, whoa. Spirit of God is upon us, right? In 2006, Light and Love Ministry hosted a prayer chaplain trainers conference and in Tempe, Arizona, and we had about 200 participants. And some of the prayer chaplain trainers brought their spouses. And we had our closing dinner. My husband, Jerry, an older gentleman, came up to my husband, Jerry, and said, Jerry, I have a story I want to tell you. And after I tell you that story, I want you to know that you can tell everybody the story. He said, okay. He said, it's about the prayer for protection. JB said, I'm very interested. So he began, he said, on December 25th. Now, what is that? Christmas. Yeah, on Christmas Day, 1944. He said, I was serving in World War II. Our battalion, Army battalion, was in Germany. We were at the Battle of the Bulge in Bastogne. And our role was to guard the fuel depot so as not to let the Germans in. Our division of 1,800 men was down two-thirds. There was a third of our division left. He said it was freezing, it was snowing, we were in the foxholes, we were cold, we were hungry. Nobody had been able to get through to bring us supplies. We were there. There we were. Feel into that. It was bleak. He said, we had discussed it, and we had decided this was probably our time to go, but that we were going to die before we'd let the Germans in to that fuel depot. We were committed. And he says, so we were there. He said, in about midday, it was very cloudy because it was snowing, we heard engines up above, and we thought, okay, what's next? <laughs> You know, what's coming now? And the engines kept getting closer and closer. And then we began to see leaflets falling through the clouds down to the earth. And my buddies and I, we grabbed the leaflets. And I grabbed one and I looked at it and it said, the light of God surrounds you. The love of God enfolds you. The power of God protects you and the presence of God watches over you. Wherever you are, God is by the Reverend James Dilt Freeman. And we turned the card over, and it said, hang on, boys, we're coming to get you. And it was signed by um, General George Patton. It was a wow. It was a wow. The backstory, a little backstory to this, is that General Patton gathered his chaplains from around in, in his area, gathered him over, and he said, I need a prayer. I need something to give my boys a lift that are stuck in there at the Battle of the Bulge. He said, come up with a prayer for me. And one of the prayer chaplains, one of the chaplains said, I have a prayer for protection here. And it was our unity prayer. And he gave that to General George Patton, and he saw to it that these leaflets were dropped, the prayer was dropped then for his men. What the gentleman said was, in about five days, they broke through the line and rescued us. He said, it was a prayer of hope. That prayer was a prayer of hope. We were able to hang on because we thought possibly we were going to get out alive. Prayer of hope. Our prayer a prayer we've been using, and sometimes we say rote, right? The light of God's around you. Yeah. No. Feel into it. What is that prayer? It's a powerful prayer. The more we integrate that prayer, the easier it is for us to access it when we need it, right? Or access it when we're in life, right? Yeah. It's an important prayer. So when Alice called me about six months ago and said, I have an idea, <laughs> I thought, oh dear, here we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's had ideas through the years, and <laughs> I thought, okay. 
I, I've never said no to her, so I thought, okay, what am I in for? And she told me then what she'd like to have happen. That she'd like me to come and speak about the prayer for protection. So I called the archives and I said, I want to know some history about when and how James Dillard Freeman wrote that prayer. And of course, he wrote it in 1940. And he wrote it originally, uh, it showed originally the first time in Silent Unity's prayer service. And it was the Christ light governs you, the Christ love supports you. And in 1942, because people had requested that he have a prayer for their loved ones that were in the war, he rewrote it. Now, I have to tell you this. He didn't put an all is well on it. That's an add-on. You know, we unity folks. <laughs> That's an add-on. His original prayer, stop with wherever you are, God is. And so I, he rewrote it in 1942, and of course this gentleman was in the war in 1944. Now the gentleman looked at JB and he said, there's more to this story. He said, when I got to the States, I wanted to find out who this Reverend James Dillett Freeman was and what this Unity Church was. So he said, I looked up the Unity Church in our uh, city there, and I went to the church on a Sunday. And he said, I walked into the church, and I saw, and this is, he said, this is the truth. I saw this cute little lady at the greeting table. You can laugh, it's okay. <laughs> He said, well, she really was very cute. He said, the rest of the story is 40 years later. We're married 40 years ago. And he said, she's a prayer chaplain trainer. That's why we're here. She's a prayer chaplain in her church. Now, he said, I want you to share the story. Because he said, it's such a power, it was such a powerful tool for us, and it has been for my whole life. And he pulled out his wallet. And he pulled out the original prayer that he got in the foxholes. And he showed it to Jerry. And it was tattered. And he showed him the front, the prayer, and then over the message from George Patton. I love that story for several reasons. To know that General George Patton, who we think is all, you know, we have whatever stories we have around that. But look what he did. Most people don't even know. You know, we're, as a unity movement, we're not the biggest. And yet, that prayer has infiltrated and been a part of people's lives all over the world. Yeah. We stand on these incredible shoulders, the founders of our unity movement. We stand on those shoulders. You stand on that. So let's look a little deeper into each stance. The light of God surrounds me. I am the light. What does that mean to you? How does that light show up in your life? How do you express that light? Say again, Don. Lead by example. Come on. Now, the first service was a little noisier than you. <laughs> so... So where are you this morning? Come on. I'm one of those ministers and teachers that loves to ask a question and get an answer. So I know you'd like to be out of here sometime today. And we have, we have a wonderful workshop this afternoon, so we don't want to hang around too long, right? Smiling. 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 Let your light shine. Yes, I am the light. What did Jesus say about it? Well, I happen to like, love, the Gospel of Thomas. And I want to read to you what Jesus said in a section. Jesus said, if they say to you, where have you come from? Say to them, we have come from the light. From the place where the light came into being by itself, established itself, and appeared in their image. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Can I get an Amen. Yes. If they say to you, we're, 
if they say to you, is it you, say, we are its children. And we are the chosen of the living Father. We are the chosen of the living Father. Amen. If they ask you, what is the evidence of your Father in you? If they ask you, what is the evidence of the Father in you? Say to them, it is motion and rest. Ooh, feel into that. Motion and rest. Affirm and trust. That's kind of what I say. Affirm and trust. I am the light. Affirm it, then trust and be it. Right? Yeah. I like you, but I got to put you down. <laughs> yeah. When our daughter, we, we lived in Cupertino, California in the 60s, 70s, anyway. <laughs> I get a laugh about the 60s, you know. I, I was parenting in the 60s, so anyway. Um, our daughters went to a high school. They had to leave on Adriana Avenue and go across a big kind of road. And the road went down a hill, a big hill, and so when people came up that hill, they accelerated, right? And so I would always tell the girls, they rode their bikes to school, I said, oh, I, look both ways. Make sure you look and listen because somebody can come up that hill accelerated and not see you. So one day, Lacey came home from school. She burst open the front door and came running in and she just started sobbing. I said, what? What? She said, mom, mom, I looked both ways. I looked, I looked. And I started across and I heard the engine and I saw the car coming at me. And she said, I couldn't remember the whole prayer. All I could remember was light, 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 light. <laughs> I couldn't laugh. I couldn't. She, I said, well, that was good. She said, yeah, that's all I could remember. And mom, I think, she said, I said, light, light, light. And I turned my handlebars and I think it scraped my fender. I think that's how close the car was to me. But she said, I was protected. And she's crying. It works when we work it, right? It's up to us to remember in the moment when life is happening and things are going on to call on it. That presence, that power, the light, the love, the power, the presence is always, always what? Come on, what? With us. Let's do it again. With us. Yes, with us, within us and all around us. And when we remember and are reminded, then we stand in it. The light of God, the love of God enfolds me. I am the love. How do you express that? In what ways do you express the love? Yes. Hugs are students. Yep. You have an incredible outreach that feeds the hungry here, right? Love in action. This ministry does so much love in action. Because don't tell me you love me. Show me, right? Show me. Yeah, tell me to, but, but, show, but show me, right? Show me. I am the power. The power of God protects me. I am the power. How does that work? <laughs> Save the electrical bill, because I am the power, right? Yeah. We lived in a ranch for quite a long time, at a ranch, in Walker, California. And our mailbox was outside our fence and our gate. So one day I went out to the mailbox to get our mail, opened it up, and I heard a loud growl, growl, loud, loud, loud growl. That's what I heard first. So I turned to look, and I saw this huge dog coming at me, mouth open, ste showing. He was ready to have me for lunch. <laughs> and I don't recommend this, but I, I just, I stood there. I was kind of frozen in the moment, and I said, okay, God, 
I know your power, your presence, your light, your love is right here with me, right here, right now, right here, right now. And I probably was, I know I was saying it out loud because I was affirming it and knowing it and holding to it. And about that time, I heard a woman's voice call the dog. And the dog kind of screeched and stopped within inches of me. I don't recommend that. I probably should have run it back, but at that point, but I knew that God was with me. I knew that the power, the light, the love, the power, the presence was there. I knew that, and I stood in that. Wherever we are, God is. The presence of God watches over me. I am the presence. Say that with me. I am the presence. Turn to your neighbor and say, you are the presence. And I have to tell you how important it is to use your I am. I can't I am for you. But you can I am for yourself. I can you are, but it doesn't have the same power. You get it? I am. So where do you put your I am? I am strong. I am able. I am confident. I am courageous. Where do you put your am? I am tired. I am. Yeah? I am. I am. Wherever I am, God is. You know, Buzz Alden and Neil Armstrong were the first two men on the moon, right? Buzz was the second one to walk on the moon. And what Buzz had in his astronaut, astronaut suit in the zip pocket on his sleeve was a prayer for protection. That was in 1959. Do you see what's happening all through the ages? The prayer for protection is protecting people. It's reminding people. It's lifting people, right? We stand on incredible shoulders in unity. Robin Roberts she would, how many know Robin Roberts? Good morning, America. And in 2012, she had had breast cancer, had had chemo, and she was diagnosed with MDS as a result of the chemo. So she had to go through quite a process. Her family, and they were traditional Christians, but somehow they got the prayer for protection. And they started a website, and they sold bracelets for all of us to remember and, and hold with her light, love, power, presence in rainbow bracelets that say RRR in the back. To hold that prayer with her. They even had a blimp fly over New York with the banner, light, love, power, presence. Do you see what you're a part of? The unity movement you're a part of? It's incredible. Are you proud of that? Yes. I hope so. Can I hear louder? Yes? yes. Yes. And this ministry, I just have to tell you, is one of the most thriving ministries in the movement. You have so many gifts and so many blessings. You have the opportunity to support its growth all the time. And I encourage you to support it the best you can because it's incredible. The ripples of your love, the ripples of what this ministry does flow out. And I have to say, Reverend Alice, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. She's the best, I'm telling you, she's the best. She's the best, wherever you are. God is. So let's do this inwardly in prayer and meditation. I just invite you to take a nice deep breath with me. And as you exhale, I invite you to let go. Let go. Let go of the busyness of the day. Let go of any thoughts or feelings of concern. Let him go. Let him go. We're going to give it to God. This is your time. 
to anchor into the light, love, presence, and power that is within you and is you and as you. You know, Jesus said in Matthew 5, 14 through 16, you are the light of the world. Your light isn't to be hidden in a bushel basket, but put on a lampstand for all to see. Let your light shine. You are the light of the world. And let your light give glory to God. So we rededicate ourselves this morning to be the light, to be the love to be the power, to be the presence. Right here, right now. As we move deeper into our heart space, into our souls, clear emotions, clear mind, clarity. As we stand in the knowing and feel into the presence moving all the way through us in the silence. Wherever I am, God is. Wherever you are, right where you are, God is. So we hold that same space with all those who have placed names in the prayer boxes, each loved one, friend, colleague, co-worker. We know with each dear one, right where you are, God is. The light, love, power, presence is within you and all around you. Healing, harmonizing, restoring, renewing, revitalizing every cell and atom of your being right now. And we send that same blessing to every man, woman, and child on our planet that each will know they are not alone. The light, love, power, presence is within and all around them. We hold that space. And we say thank you, thank you, thank you, God. In the name and the nature of that living presence within each one of us. And our brother, way shower, master teacher, Jesus Christ, who I believe stands with us. Amen and amen.